Hi there, let me take you through Axiom's brand new release, Axiom 4.1. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. First up, the new guided template system. We're aware our templates haven't been great. They are now better and they're going to get even better with each iteration. So this is the first big improvement. I'm gonna open up Axiom. I'm gonna choose a template. Let me just have a look. Scrape Instagram handles from post links. I'm gonna open up that template. Axiom loads the template in. It's then gonna tell me what page I need to open to um, use the template and get it set up correctly. So I'm gonna open up a tag. Then I'm gonna open up Axiom and just finish setting up the template and it's gonna tell me how. So I'm now ready to start setting up that template. So first of all, I need to get a list of links of pages from a URL. So I need to basically add the link I wish to scrape. So I'm just gonna, because I'm already on the page, I'm just gonna click get current, that's done. I now see the continue button. But if you get stuck, you can watch the video and it'll tell you what to do. Okay, on to continue. Now, this is the next, and I think the final step I have to set up, I just need to choose a spreadsheet, name the sheet I want to run, or write the data to, press continue, and that's it, I'm done setting the template up. And like I said, this is just the first iteration, we're gonna keep making that simpler. In our next release, we're gonna also generate the Google Sheets for you. Next, inline step help, we've added this little pot panel, that pops up when you click on the menu. Let me just show you this, which has links for docs, how to use videos, etc., so you can better understand how a step works. Okay, continuing, single stored cookies. This is in the settings of an Axiom. This allows you to basically store your cookie. And then, when you need to resync that cookie, because cookies expire, when you need to resync it, you can just use the resync button, or if you need to resync that cookie for all the axioms that use Instagram cookies, for example, you can just click the global button. That's really handy. Okay, continuing. Let's go to the next new feature. Search for and edit a particular row in a Google Sheet. So this is a brand new step to help you, as I've just said to search for a row in a Google Sheet. So I'm gonna click search. Let's find the step. Find row in a Google Sheet. Now what I would need to do to set this step up is add my Google Sheet, put the right sheet name in, then the values that I want to find in that sheet, set whether it's an exact matched and whether value matching is on any or all. And what that step then does is return that row as a variable that we can then pass into, for example, a right step so we can rewrite new data to that row. Okay, let me just close that and scroll down to the next, a new date picker step. So previously automating date pickers, you had to use a combination of steps to click open the date picker, then use a CSS selector to um, choose the right date. We now have a step for the date picker. If I search date picker and then select and add the step, all you need to do is select the month on the date picker, select the month button that basically scrolls through the different months. And so you either select going forward or backwards, and then you put in a value for the month you want to change to and the day you want to change to, and then you're done. You can automate your date picker. Okay, let's just close Axiom, go to the next. Settings page redesign. That's pretty simple. I'm just gonna show you the settings of this action Axiom. We've now sorted the different settings into a menu to make this a bit easier to navigate. Okay, we've also got a few other small changes in this release. Go back to previous Axiom. So that's basically if you're editing, uh, run another Axiom step and you want to go back to the, the step on um, the Axiom within that return to the parent, you can just click the back button. We've also, um, in the download steps, we've added a setting to allow you to to change the download start wait time. So that's basically keeps the Axiom waiting until the downloads happen. Sometimes that needs to vary a little bit. Also, what's changed is you can now use your um, local time zone in the cloud. Again, you can find that in settings and you can configure your time zone. 
Also, a minor change to the screenshot step that's available in Axiom. There's a setting which will allow you to select an element and take a screenshot of just that element. Let me just show you how to do that. I'm going to open up Axiom. I'm going to search for, not screen, select screenshot. Let me just select the local one. Obviously, we've got screenshot steps that will save into the cloud, and then we've got screenshot steps that will save locally onto your computer. computer. And then here you can see the option to select an element, and then on screen, I can select that element to take just a screenshot of it. That's pretty handy. You'll also notice we've got done a whole lot of other minor fixes. We've played around with the token replacement and fixed some issues with that. Axiom now recommends content for new users based on their activity. So when you first sign up to Axiom, you'll be presented some content that's hopefully relevant and will help you better understand how to make bots. There's a whole list of other minor fixes. You can read about those on our website. Just go to axiom.ai slash product, look at the drop down, look for release notes. Awesome. Thank you for using Axiom. On to the next release.